Howdy, howdy, folks. Mevinka here, returning once again with another Isaac run. We're gonna random, and we random Samson, unfortunately for me. Um, I don't know, I wasn't feeling like doing anything else today, so in my laziness, I've decided that it is a fair time to start uh, doing some more Isaac, because, uh, you know, what could go wrong with Isaac? Pretty much nothing is the correct answer. Although I do dislike Judas, um, uh, not Judas, excuse me, Samson. I think that he's not that good of a character. Uh, pretty much just because he cries so slowly and he has so little health. But we will, uh, we will do with uh, what the random number generator gods have given us and uh, attempt to get as far as we possibly can in the body of Isaac. It would be helpful if I didn't take stupid damage all the time like this. Uh, because dying now would be just a fucking embarrassment. Uh, let's see, what did we get here? The dead bird. Totally, hopelessly, usefully bad. That didn't make any sense. But it's bad because the dead bird only comes out once you've taken damage. And, uh, Samson does not have room to take damage. So, the utility of the dead bird decreases substantially when you have, like, almost no health to use it over. Um, the nice thing about fighting this boss, though, is that, uh, my, uh, my rage procs, like, to max really quickly, just because he spits out so many flies all the time. Now I'll be able to kill him pretty fast. Uh, you know, it's funny, I used to think flies were, like, really hard, at, like, really hard, annoying enemies in the game, so, like, I thought the best item in Isaac was Skatol, or Skatol, or Skatoli. However you want to pronounce it. It's the thing where you get the poop on your head and like, oh good, this is actually a good item. So we get a little bit more temporary health, but the most important part is that I cry like a normal person now. Uh, instead of just like one manly tear a second, now I can cry like a, you know, a decent amount. And we're going to risk it and see, oh of course, you get a troll bomb. Probably not worth it, well definitely not worth it, and it, you know, most likely wasn't going to be worth it, but I figure, you know, we should at least try, because, you know, it could have been something awesome. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can survive the basement, too, with only three hearts total instead of two. Um, so I know it's only the second floor, but what do I want in my item room? Something good. Damage, health, uh, tears up even would be acceptable, because even though my tears are, uh, better now, like I cry at a better rate, I still don't cry, um, uh, as fast as I want to, uh, so... Um, that was pretty quick. Good, a key, that means we can go to the item room. Was being, I was beginning to get a little concerned that, uh, that was not going to, uh, be a possibility. But now, it will definitely be a possibility. In fact, so much to say that it is inevitable at the... Oh, good, and if I had more money, I would go to the shop. Speedball is an interesting item. Uh, it makes my shot speed really high, and it makes my speed maxed, I think. Um, it's not the best item, it's... Probably my least favorite out of all the, like, injection items. Uh, and by injection items, I just mean all the syringes. Uh, we got a lot of money in that room, though, so now I'm actually gonna go to the shop. We got really lucky there. That was pretty sweet. Um, so, let's see. We got The nuns have it. I will buy. Um, because hopefully it'll be useful in the future. So, if you don't remember, the nuns have it makes it so that when I take damage, I get half of my charge back on my spacebar item, which is usually pretty damn good. Like, um... Uh, you know, for example, if I book a Revelations, I'm pretty much invincible up to the womb because every time I take a heart of damage, I charge up the book and get a heart back. So, like, you know, it's a pretty uh, useful item, if you ask me. Um, you know, I don't know about the shot speed thing, man. Like, so some people think that shot speed is, like, the worst stat ever. I actually kind of like shot speed because it makes my aiming easier um, because, like, I, you know, you have to do less predictive aiming when your shots move faster because when your shots move really slowly, well, okay, when your shots move slower than, like, average or, like, when you don't move as fast, you kind of have to, like, predict where your shots are going to go and then aim accordingly, but when you have high shot speed, it's easier to aim, so, you know, it's not totally useless. Maybe I'm just putting, like, a, you know, my rose-tinted glasses on or something and just, like, covering up something that's absolutely terrible because shot speed is not really it's not necessary is definitely a true thing to say let's see what we get here more speed which actually scares me i'm not going to take this last speed up um balls of steel is a fantastic pill and uh let's see what's in our oh god i would love to have these a uh, bad trip pill is not what i wanted so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the dead cat 
And then I'm gonna take Brimstone. Oh, yes, good. So that way I die, and I respawn with just one health. Uh, but now I have Brimstone. So that's usually something that you can do when you have a Devil Room with the Dead Cat and you play Samson, uh, which I actually really enjoy. Because, uh, you know, oh good, we get a health upgrade, so we're actually better than where we started, which is pretty fucking awesome if you ask me. Um, because uh, the dead cat makes it so that dying uh, a bunch is sort of inconsequential, since you only get one heart. So, you know, it's it's less risky to just, like, you know, kill yourself from uh, taking it. Well, obviously it's less risky because the game doesn't end. But, uh, it, like, you know, it really opens up the possibility for scamming uh, the deal with the devil rooms. Uh, let's, uh, okay, good. He's dead. Oh, my God. I always, why am I always getting hit with that? I don't know, man. I'm not really happy about that damage. That's uh, bad damage for sure. Uh, and that guy's dead. So we get one cent and uh, the health upgrade, which is great. Um, generally the way I play with Brimstone is don't die at all. I know it says I have eight lives, but like, I'm probably going to end up getting like a lot of health in all likelihood from, um, you know, whatever items that I get. Hopefully I get a lot of health. And so, what is this pill? Bad trip. Um, so I'll hang on to that bad trip pill because even though it does damage to me now, when I get down to a hard or less, it'll turn into a full health pill. So that'll be that'll be useful. It's obviously more useful when you have more red heart containers, but uh, you know it'll 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 do. It's not it's not bad. It just could be better. You know, kind of like uh, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Let's keep going. Oh, it's an XL floor. I didn't even notice that. Also, great thing about brimstone, it's a piercing shot, so you never have to worry about. Uh, having to like shoot through walls and stuff i will net increase in one bomb if i do this so i will totally blow up this rock make a little bridge and now have two bombs instead of just one um shoot that was scary okay uh that was good that was good i thought i was gonna take damage there um but i think i did all right for myself there judgment is a good card but i want to save it until i have more money so that when i play it it's actually useful like i can actually get something out of it because as it is right now if i put down the judgment card probably won't be able to pay it probably won't pay out with anything because i don't have enough money to uh um, make it do that oh good that's another nice thing about brimstone asshole rooms like that don't matter as much now i could definitely use okay let's try to see if the secret room is in here it is not sadly that would have been awesome if it was let's uh continue our our search for um more stuff um I guess The Binding of Isaac is sort of like a stuff accumulation game, but it's only that way in the sense that- Oh my god, I can't believe I ran into that fire! I knew I should have put it out first. Ah, uh, that was dumb. Let's put it out now, even though it probably doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, okay. Oh god, I really didn't want to take damage there. I tried my best to avoid it, and it didn't get me anywhere. Okay, let's look at some of our pills here. Bad gas, not that great. Uh, friends to the end. Meh. Could be better, but uh, you know, it's not actively bad. It's not hurting me, so I guess uh, I can't really complain. And uh, it made, certainly made that room a lot easier. Okay, good. I didn't take damage there. I was I'm scared. I always like corner myself whenever I see those because I sort of just hit the panic button. Okay, good, 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 good. And let's uh, blow those guys up and continue onwards here with our with our uh, floor clearing. So I need some keys. Uh, it's funny, I was just watching a Green 9090 video where he got, like, no keys in his run, but he had Mom's Knife, so he was pretty much alright, and I feel like, oh, here we go, the game actually listens to you, um, but, uh, he, he ended up beating the Blue Baby with just Mom's Knife, basically, um, and that's totally possible with this, with this run, too, uh, let's see, we get a sack of pennies, uh, not really that great, uh, I'm not too thrilled about that, um, I'm thinking maybe our secret room is in here, in which case if it is, I'm going to be really disappointed because I could have used two bombs instead of a key. Okay, it's not there. Also disappointing because it means I wasted a bomb. Now, our secret room could be here, but I'm going to save my bomb because I might find a tinder rock, and I think that'll be more valuable than the money that I'll get. Oh, God. That damage was pretty inevitable at this. Since I don't have flying, it's really easy for rooms like this where I'm really restricted and where I get to move. To just deal damage to me like I can't really avoid that kind of damage um so you know I'm not too upset like I'm upset still but like not that upset all right making more money that's good because I want to eventually use my judgment card here um uh, gotta be careful in this room because these guys move really fast and they oh oh it killed me oh I wasn't paying attention I only had one heart left oh story of my life these guys do a whole heart of damage I always forget that and it always screws me in the end 
See, I almost died in the same exact way. Well, that's really disappointing because now my HP upgrade is gone. Uh, and I was really happy that I got that HP upgrade because it meant that I, uh, I had a little bit more health. That's really, really bad. Um, well, I guess there's not a whole lot I can do about it, so might as well just suck it up, I guess, and keep playing. The nice thing is that I only had one HP upgrade instead of, like, having, like, five hearts and then, you know, dying and now only having one. I have a key, so I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna grab some more money because I really want to play this judgment card. And I think once I hit, like, around, like, this much money, like, precisely this much, not really, but it's not an art, but uh, once I hit around, like, 12, 14 cents, like, that range-ish, like, usually, he'll pay out, so... That's not a guarantee, because it's still a random number that's being generated, so, you know... Still likely that bad things will happen to me. But, uh, man, what's up with all these speed upgrades? I got a speed and range upgrade. The range bit? Useless, because, uh, you know... The brimstone already goes across the entire room, so that's not exactly the helpfulest thing. I am just, like, there's... I just have no keys, and... Oh, I did find my boss room. I was like, damn, have I not found the boss yet? Okay, let's uh, let's use Judgment. I just realized that I've been dawdling on this. So let's do that and then clear the rest of the floor and hope for some more keys. We got the Book of Revelations, which is actually really good. Um, because now, uh, assuming that I don't take whole heart damage, I'm going to be invincible until I get to the womb. Which sort of takes a lot of the pressure off. Um, because I have the, the combination of uh, the Nun's Habit and the Book of Revelations. So, this also means that I'm going to get a cube of meat this floor because uh, the boss is going to be one of the four horsemen. Um, which I'm okay with. The cube of meat is not the best item just by itself, but in conjunction with multiple, it gets more and more useful. And, you know, as an orbital, it's still okay because it will block shots. So, there are better upgrades, like a health upgrade, for example, I would love because uh, I fucked up and died. Damn, that's disappointing. Um... Yeah, I definitely need a map to find a secret room in this kind of floor, because there's just no way. There's just so many options. I shouldn't have even wasted all those bombs. Uh, wow, this is great, actually. We're fighting the Fallen? Um, so sometimes when you... So normally what happens when you use the Book of Revelations, because, you know, it's the Book of Revelations, uh, a, uh, four, one of the four horsemen will show up because, uh, uh, because, you know, in the Book of Revelations, it predicts the coming of the Apocalypse and the four horsemen and that all that jazz, so... Oh, God, just stop moving. And, uh, so, but every once in a while, the Fallen will happen instead, uh, which is fantastic, because when you fight the Fallen, uh, when you beat him, you get a Devil Room item, and, uh, you know, he's not that hard of a boss either, because once he splits up into two, you can, uh, do multiple damage, uh, multi-damage to, uh, each, oh god, that was scary. Okay, uh, good, I blew him up. Oh, I was stressful. I keep forgetting that as Samson I die incredibly quickly, especially against enemies that do a whole heart of damage to me, like bosses. Um, good! Oh, fantastic. I got the Pact, which increases my damage. It also, I think, increases my tears rate. Oh, uh, now I'm gonna get a Cube of Meat. That's weird. Uh, so I guess I did get a Cube of Meat. Uh, I just got the Fallen first, uh, which is alright, I guess. Uh, I think he's, like, stuck, so I'm okay with this completely. Uh, oh, I just blew up the flies there. I wanted to deal damage to him, I swear. Uh, no mercy for your enemies in this game. Alright, cube of meat. And, uh, that looks strangely pink on uh, that image. But anyway, let's continue onwards, down to the next floor. I desperately need consumables of any sort, because otherwise, I'm gonna have a bad time when I can't, like, go into an item room or a shop. Uh, another charge on the Book of Revelations, which I will use accordingly um just a good item in general it's uh you know it's a solid end game item because it it's regenerative like you get to keep getting more health all the time so you know there's just no reason not to samson's lock interesting uh so samson's lock is a trinket that basically just has gives me the chance of getting the samson the bloody lust um yeah the bloody lust effect um however since i already own uh, the, the item, I don't think Samson's Lock actually does anything for me. So I think I'm just gonna actually, like, wait until, uh... Wow, I'm getting so many keys from this guy. I'm really, I'm really glad I'm playing this. Because even though I can't go to the shop, it's possible the shop is just greed anyway. And I got that HP upgrade back. Um, would love to have another one, like a third heart right now instead of just two. But alas, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. 
because I screwed up. Um, let's blow this guy up. Okay. I was a little worried I was going to take damage, but I can't really move because I move really fast. And so, in rooms where there are spikes, moving fast is just like a fucking death sentence because, uh, because, um, you'll just run into spikes all the time. So, oh, that was a good shot. Uh, okay, so there's a library here because there's two of these, um, like, grayed out locked doors. So I'm going to try to not go in yet because I don't have enough money to make it worth my time. Uh, hopefully I get flying because I'm moving way too fast for my own good right now. Oh, that was bad. Um, oh, no, that wasn't what I wanted. I'm getting a bit of a frame rate drop here, so pardon my, uh, bad dodging right there. Uh, a bomb and a key to open that is probably, in all likelihood, not worth it. Um, so, okay, that was a good shot. Oh, don't want to get trapped there. Okay, good. I can't, like, there's a frame rate issue right now, and I'm moving really goddamn fast, so... It's, uh, it's a bit challenging. You know, I think I'm actually going to this room just because I have extra keys and, uh, like, like I said, I need more consumables. I did take stupid damage there, though, so that was disappointing. But, uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. I move just way too fast right now. It's, like, uncomfortable how fast I'm moving. Okay, that was good. And I got another Revelations charge. Now I have enough money to go to the shop, so hopefully the room that I pick is in fact the shop and not the library, because I already have the book that I want, um, and there's no way to tell on the outside without the map um, which room this is. So hopefully this is a shop. Yes, it is. The, uh, oh god. Uh, I want this. I want the key. So this will make it so that I can access some more, um, some more treasure in my various rooms including this uh hold on if we go this way this uh poorly placed golden chest i'm gonna open for some more cash definitely not worth it but uh oh wait i've already cleared this area that's right so let's continue onwards then uh this way fistula not should not be a huge problem because uh uh the brimstone shot is sort of like a hard counter to oh of course i still take damage of course I take damage. Um, oh, gotta be careful there. Uh, Dead Bird might finish this guy off before I do. No, nope, not not true. Uh, I would love to get a speed downgrade. Oh my god, I cannot believe I walked on that. I'm such a tool. I uh, should know better. I'm not flying. Okay, now I'm gonna wait. And now I'm gonna go. Okay, so I can go find my boss, but I don't... Yeah, that's right. I need to find my item room first. Okay, blow up our zombies, brain dudes, whatever, um, get another key, more money, Harlequin baby, pretty good, um, uh, get some more projectile damage to occur while I'm, uh, you know, derping around, uh, let's just, cl oh good, I get a level 2 key with me, oh, I, I let go of my button, my, uh, my arrow key before, fin before finishing charging, so I actually did not shoot immediately upon entering the room, which is too bad, I like being able to do that. So let's, uh, war is not too bad, uh, I don't think. Um, you get a lot of time to deal with his, um, bomb nonsense, so, you know, as long as I don't fuck up here. Oh god, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm the worst. Okay, thank god I'm really fast, because he'll never be able to catch me this way! Um, there's a lot of enemies in this game that just sort of chase you around, and if you're not fat, oh, god damn it. If you're not fast enough, bad things will happen to you. Human meat is pretty good. Let's continue onwards here. Uh, forget me now? Tempting, actually, because... Well, I'll lose the Book of Revelations, so it's not tempting. Forget me now is a reference to Arrested Development, I believe. Um, Celtic Cross, not that great, but I'll take it. Uh, and it basically resets the whole floor, so you just redo the floor that you just did. Um, so I would... I would. It goes as a spacebar item. I use it once, and then it goes away... And it's sort of like getting roofied, like I just wake up in a starting room of a new floor and just redo the whole thing. So I guess, you know, it's appropriately named, I suppose. By the way, I do not advocate using roofies ever. That is a, just, please don't, that is not what I'm trying to, I'm not trying to teach any moral lessons here about, about anything. I'm just saying that's why it was named that, okay? Gosh, get off my case, YouTube. Okay, uh, we're getting some more money, this is good. Uh... Oh, yeah, oh, okay. That was, uh, worrisome. Uh, but thankfully, I'm incredibly fast. 
Uh, I might just go in here just to see what's going on. Compass. I will definitely want that. So if I get three more cents, uh, I am for sure going to buy that because uh, there's just no reason not to. Like, it's just such a good item. The moon? Using it. Uh, Book of Belial. Oh, this is tempting because it will increase my damage by so much. But I need the health, I think. So, And with the miter, it just makes sense to have the Book of Revelations instead. Um, as good of an item as Book of, Bo uh, Book of Belial, as I like to call it, um, jokingly. Uh, Book of Belial is a really good item, but I, it's just, it's not in the cards for me this time around. Um, there is a boss trap room here, so I think I might actually go to that arcade. Um, cause there's a lot of red hearts lying around. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to this arcade. I'm gonna play the, uh, the blood bank a little bit. Uh, and then I will, uh, oh, gotta be careful here. Okay, so I will play the Blood Bank a little bit, uh, and also at the same time earn uh, a couple of Spirit Hearts for myself. Um, that's actually really good. I better make sure to go back and do that. So the nice thing about that is the Blood Bank will target your Red Hearts first, so you, it makes it so that you can uh, deal damage to yourself without having to lose all your uh, Spirit Hearts, and that makes this room accessible. I will take that because I believe Tears Up increases the or decreases rather the time required before a brimstone charge is fully charged uh and uh you know as, as much as i'm sad that i can't take the book of belial i'm doing a shit ton of damage i can't really complain what would i like to complete my uh, my build so to speak I, I would love a i would love right now some flying items like or not some like one flying item so that i can fly uh, because flying would just make me overpowered and it would sort of um, Balance out the fact that I have to use uh That I oh shit. Oh, I got my uh I got my uh Celtic cross. Oh, I've never gotten Celtic cross, Celtic cross before uh, on on the videos So Celtic cross is a great item not actually no, it's not it's a random chance for when you take damage that uh It's a random chance that when you take damage a invincibility shield will proc um, kind of like the, um, uh, Book of Shadows, or the Polaroid when you have- Oh my god, are you serious? Uh, fine. I guess. Game. Well, actually, that's not too bad, because with all these extra red hearts, before I go fight Mom, I can go to the, um, I can go to the arcade and, uh, make a ton off of, make, uh, off of the, uh, the, what's it called? Fuck. The, the Blood Bank. I can make money, like, I can make Spirit Hearts with the Blood Bank. Um, using these red hearts, so actually, that is, uh, fantastic for me, that there's all these red... This... Excuse me, I just lost my train of thought, because I just got really confused at something that I saw! Uh, don't worry about it! Uh, so yeah, I can make, I can make some more health, um, this way, which is good. Um, let's continue onwards. Uh, boy, there's a lot of flies in this room. Uh, I forget that I have the, uh, the, uh... I gotta be careful here. I don't want to blow that up on myself. I forget that I have the blood, the bloodlust, the rage. So like, it's uh, it's procking, and I'm like forgetting about it, and it's just making my damage insane. Uh, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. Oh, that's right. I can still get the compass on this floor. So uh, why don't we go do that before we uh, fight mom and can't leave? You know. So let's. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go back up to my shop. So this let's here one. Two, three. Well, okay, there's only really two. There's like two or three hearts. So this is gonna take a couple trips. So I'm sorry if this is really boring to you, but uh, it's going to be necessary. Believe me, to maximize the amount of health that I have, we'll buy this compass here, um, which is a fantastic pickup. Uh, let's go to the uh, arcade, where um, you know where dreams come true, and uh, let's uh, charge up my book of revelations a little bit more. Oh, fantastic! Uh, now I get to just make a shit ton of money because my Celtic Cross, um, proc uh, a couple times, in fact. Uh, so every time I now feed into this bank, I'm not taking any damage. Uh, okay. So it looks like, uh, I, I have lost all the possible red hearts that I can. So I don't want to lose any spirit hearts. That's sort of the point is to not lose spirit hearts. So let's go pick up, uh, one of these red hearts here. So let's see here. I have a red, I have a whole red heart there, so I can play one more time, and I have a whole red heart here, so I can play total of, well, if I want to be, if I want to maximize my efficiency, 
I would make two more trips, but I think in the interest of time and excitement level, because playing the arcade is definitely not the most exciting part of this game, I will not um, try to maximize my uh, my uh, plays here. Uh, oh, I really wanted the... Uh, I really wanted the... Uh, like a blood bag there or something, like a health upgrade, um, because you can get them this way. Uh, I don't have very good luck because I haven't gotten any luck ups of any kind. So this might take a little, you know, a little bit of time, but I do want to invest the time. See, now I have four keys, which is good because that way when I go to the chest, I'll have, uh, you know, I'll have enough stuff. I'll have enough keys to make it uh, worthwhile. Assuming I don't use any until then. Um, so if I get a couple more, that would be all right with me. Uh, yep, a couple more. Uh, no, I do not want Samson's Lock anymore, game. Uh, I want, I do, I would rather have Isaac's head. Um, let's, uh, see if I can get, uh, no, all right, let's call that, let's call that good then. I have 14 cents. I don't, I don't really have anything to do with it except, uh, like maybe go to the beggar. So here's what I'll do. I'll, uh, buy a bomb and a key. I guess I could have bought a tarot card too, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, you know, so I do have the, uh, the habit and the book of revelations. So I'd be a fool to actually not just play this indefinitely because... I'm never going to lose any health. Uh, so I'm just going to keep playing this until it pays out with an item. Um, so this oh, you know, there's, an there's another factor that I forgot to think about, which is that when I kill uh, Mom, I will get the Polaroid, and so if I don't pick up the health, I'll actually be able to run off of Polaroid Invincibility because I won't have any... This is just fucking absurd. This thing just needs to explode. Like... Oh my god. This is what my life has amounted to. Oh my god, of course you did. It didn't even pay out with the right, uh, thing. That was a total waste of time. <sighs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm disappointed as well. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to stick with uh, what I have because um, having permanent Polaroid invincibility is going to be uh, uh, just a huge benefit. And Devil Card is pretty useful, so I'll probably just use that at the boss fight. Um, because I can't get the Book of Belial. So the Devil Card gives you a Book of Belial effect for a room, which is pretty useful. Um, but anyway, so as I was saying, I will uh, not heal up, in fact, and hope that my Spirit Hearts will be enough. Because I have the Book of Revelations and I have the Mitre... Uh, it seems worth it to me. Like, especially, like, for now. Like, after this floor, it will start getting riskier. But, um... Oh, God. I'm moving too fast for me to see... Oh, I need to pop this double card. Uh... Oh, God. I'm not... Okay. Alright, this is good. This is good. Okay, uh... Oh, uh, uh hard to uh, shoot when you move so fast and the frame rate is dropping as you play. Okay. Okay. That was stressful, but uh, we did it. Oh no, I picked up a half heart. Oh no. That is so bad. That is actually possibly the worst thing that could happen to this run. Oh god. I mean, besides dying, obviously. So now I don't get permanent polar invincibility and now I'm just... A whole heart short, um, which is really too bad. Um, all right then, I guess I kind of f that up. I will admit that I'm going to not pick up that heart because maybe it'll still work. I kind of doubt it though. I'm in utero one, but so far these rooms have not been that bad. Um, for those of you who don't know, there's actually two kinds of rooms for each. Um, oh my god, that exploded on me. Uh, there's two kinds of rooms for each floor. So there's like a normal floor. I picked it up. Fuck it, I guess. There's like a normal floor, and then there's like a super hard version. So like, there's the caves, but there's also necropolis. Or I'm sorry, there's the they're the caves or uh, what is it called again? Caves or the I don't remember. The depths could also become the necropolis. The womb can become utero. Uh, the cathedral and the chests are just them because like, let's be real, those those are hard enough without. Without uh, without any help from uh, from any other random number generations. Uh, let's keep going here. I think this is the right direction. Boy, I sure hope so. Um, <laughs> oh 
Okay, good. Brimstone is making this fight pretty easy. Uh, I would love to lose some health, like some red health, somehow. Like an arcade in Moon 2 or something. Like that would be just fantastic, because then I could take back the horrible, horrible life decision of accidentally picking up that, uh, that half red heart at the end of the mom fight, which just literally ruined everything. Um, oh shit, why did I do that? Um, yeah, I don't know why I did that, guys, so, um, you'll have to forgive me for that, uh, just erroneous damage. Uh, we're fighting death, which is good. I'll get a third level Q of meat, which is quite useful, in fact. Um, Celtic Cross is proving to be somewhat useful for me, actually, um, because, um, even though I can't get Polaroid invincibility, uh, I'm still getting Celtic Cross invincibility, which is still useful. Um, it could be more useful with the actual Polaroid invincibility, but, uh, there we go. Cuba Meat, level 3. Oh, fantastic. Deal with the Devil. My fears are allayed because now I can, uh, oh, fantastic. Now I can buy Guppy's Paw, use it once to get even more health, and then get the Book of Revelations and pretty much have really good odds. Okay, that turned around really quickly because of the deal with the devil. So I am now a happy camper. Um, oh, let's, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, now the Celtic Cross is kind of useless because, uh, I, uh, I will always get a shield whenever I take damage. Um, oh my god, there was, uh, like a glitch where I, I hate this thing. So the door frames technically count as, like, objects in the rooms, I'm pretty sure. Because you can get stuck on them when you have high speed. And that is literally what just happened to me, and that is why I took that damage there. Um, that's really dis- oh my god. This is really disappointing. Um, like, things just- I'm just being dumb right now. Is- this is no excuse. Let's go in here. Health upgrade- oh no, I didn't want that, because I'm not the blue baby. I suddenly- I thought I was the blue baby, so now my polar invincibility is gone again. And I will never be able to get it back. I probably just lost this run for myself because of that. Um, that was a huge mistake. Like, just a huge error on my part. Um, and now I'm kind of just screwed. Um, like, I'm not necessarily going to lose, but if I do lose, it'll most likely be because I didn't get my invincibility. So now when I fight um, Isaac, my life is going to suck. Oh, this is really shitty. Yay, Meat Boy. Okay, good job, Meat Boy. Oh my god, I should not have picked up that goddamn health upgrade. Oh, my life sucks. Oh, there's an arcade! I might still be able to salvage this. Um, so, oh my god. This is gonna take some finagling. Um, but I might... Oh my god, arcades is this entire episode, I swear to god. This is absurd. How many arcades I've gone to. Now, I... Now I'm not quite- I think I need to go this way. Oh, gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful here. Um, good. They're all dead. They're all dead. And they're all dead. Safety cap. I would love to pick you up, safety cap, but I need the Polaroid to go to the chest. So let's, um, good. Uh, and I guess we can just hope that this pays out. Nope. It does not pay out what I want it to. Um, let's try for some more spirit hearts a little bit. I mean, if I wanted to, I could play this all 99 times, but I frankly don't have the patience for this nonsense. Uh, although it is giving me back a lot of money, which is just- Oh, where did I heal? Uh, whatever, I guess. I'm- this is too risky now. I'm just gonna leave, because I keep doing stupid things and losing or gaining health for it, and then having to re-hurt myself, and now that I'm in the womb, I net lose health whenever I do that, so I need to stop being a fucking idiot. Okay, no more red hearts! No more health upgrades. That's the fucking rule. Oh my god, and I, I would love to use my health on this devil beggar instead. Um, if, you know, it might still happen just because I like gambling way too much. I swear to god, I'm gonna have like a gambling addiction when I grow up. You know what, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, good. I got a Celtic cross. Proc, this is what I wanted. So now I can, oh good. Uh, now I've got the Pact. This is fantastic. Um, that is exactly what I wanted to have happen. So the Pact gave me extra Spirit Hearts to probably make up for the few that I lost. And, um, when I got the Celtic Cross proc, it meant that I could donate health without, uh, actually losing any because I'm invincible. But I can still 
technically like donate if you will i will actually use this judgment right here so that i can get an another item before i go into this boss room um i got 10 bombs <laughs> that's not that great but it could be worse so um nope that didn't kill them nope that missed entirely okay uh, having a meat boy here is going to be fucking awesome because uh, uh, he's just gonna do damage to things uh, in in ways that I normally can't and actually I have to be right back one quick second uh, but when we return I will destroy this boss and we're back folks my apologies for that I uh, had to take care of the dog because I'm technically a dog sitter currently um, so you know can't shirk responsibilities, gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but, uh, you know, this fight shouldn't be too bad because with the, uh, with this particular, uh, this build here, the, uh, the fact that we have Brimstone makes it so that I clear out, uh, hordes of monsters incredibly quickly. Um, it also means my rage proc maxes really fast, which is really good. Um, so, one of the, I guess, I guess the way they balance rage is that um, it doesn't always like it, it. It peaks at a certain point. Like once you get a certain amount of damage up from the uh, from the uh, rage, like it stops at a certain level. So like you don't just get infinite damage up from rage. It'll stop after like I don't remember exactly how many, um, but it does stop. So my damage is probably not going to get any higher than this. Uh, okay, we're good. How did I heal? What healed me? What healed me? People. Good people. Uh, you know, I'm so upset about it that I think it's worth making the trip out to the blood bank to take a half heart of damage. I swear to God, when did I walk over a heart in that fight? I don't even remember it happening. This is just not cool, man. Uh, okay, I'm done here. I'm, uh, there's... What? Why did it? Why did I heal from that? Does it just not let me? Okay. I. I have half a heart. Stay that way, game. For fuck's sake, what is going on here? Maybe I'm doing something wrong that I'm not realizing. Like, I don't know, man. It's confusing. I'm not quite sure. What is going on with that? But, uh, that's all right. Let's move on with our lives. Um, because there's nothing I can do about it now. I've lost so many spirit hearts just on account of having to take damage from that, uh, that blood bag so I can get the invincibility that I want. Okay, this is not where I want to be. Um, however, it might still be... No, it's not worth it to, uh... Let's just leave. That is not the direction that I want to be going because it's a dead end, so I'm just not going to care. Um, come on, laser me. Okay. It looks like he's too close to the edge for me to get him to laser permanently. Oh god, this is going to be obnoxious. Now he's going to jump again. Um, good, that did damage to him. Go, meat boy! Meat boy like you've never meat boyed before. Okay, and... Uh, more jumping. I hate it when he jumps because you can't um, consistently hit him. It's way better to... Uh... Okay, there we go. Now he's dead. Let's go this way. Oh, not quite dead yet. There we go. Let's get our uh, Book of Revelations charged up. And I did not pick up that heart, as you noticed, which I'm very proud of. Oh my god, Meat Boy. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? Um, you know, I have so many keys. Steven! That's awesome. That's a, just a flat damage up. Um, don't really expect to see that in a chest, so... I really lucked out there. Um, oh, that was fucking stupid of me. Um, okay, well, I think we're gonna... Oh, god damn it. I think we're gonna be alright, still, despite my multiple failings um, this time. But I think we'll be just fine, because we have our Polaroid invincibility. We have, um, the Meat Boy, we have the Bird out, uh, we have Brimstone, we have relatively high damage with it. I'm not taking too much damage, I'm dealing pretty good chunkings. Oh god, that was bad. 
Uh, I'm getting back half of the health that I lose, I'm getting back from the Book of Revelations getting charged. Um, I still have parts off screen, which is uh, great, which is exactly what I want to have. Um, this fight is going pretty easy. Oh god, I got hit right there and I did not need to. Um, there we go. Uh, oh god, there it is. Um, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, see here. Okay, oh, ugh. Okay, gotta be careful here, because these assholes are... Okay, it's actually good that he's spawning those now, because, um, that'll proc my rage. Um, so I think now my rage is maxed, and... Oh, what? Back the fuck off, dude. Uh, okay. Almost dead! Oh, ah! Yeah! Okay, woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, good, good. Don't pick up the health. Just go in the chest, and, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Monstro's Tooth, not that good. Uh, Wiggle Worm? I have no idea what Wiggle Worm does with Brimstone. I might have to try it for science. Crown of Thorn or Blood of the Martyr gives us a damage upgrade. What does Wiggle Worm do? Absolutely goddamn nothing. Um, that's okay with me. Um, let's uh, fight some chubs and take damage in the process. Pretty much exactly how I want my fights with chub to go. Um, I died to chub a lot. Like... I feel like I've died to Chubb as a boss, like, multiple times on camera, which is incredibly embarrassing for me, because I like to think that I think Chubb is an easy boss fight, but apparently, he's not that easy. Um, let's kill, um, let's try and kill Greed first, um, just because, uh, if I kill, whoever I kill last tends to give me, uh, has a higher chance of giving me, like, some sort of item, uh, and so, um, Lust would be the best choice, but Lust is fucking hard to deal with because of the fact that he chases you around and it's just better to get rid of him as soon as possible. So, um, if I kill, like, Wrath last, like, I have a chance of getting, like, Mr. Mega as an item, which is, like, way better than, um, Greed's, like, shop upgrade that I can't use, uh, because there are no more shops anywhere. Boy, I hate this room. Uh, I haven't yet to take damage in it, though, which impresses me. Oh my god, this dodging is just... Oh, I will stop paying attention right when I said this dodging, because I wanted to feel good about how good I was dodging, which led me to dodge badly. It's really meta how we do things here at the, uh... At the, uh, Mevinkoff Factory. Ugh! Jeez, okay. This is so hard. Okay, good. Uh, let's go and fight our, our Blue Babby man. Um, the nice thing about Blue Baby compared to Isaac is I don't have to wait too long for him to start spawning familiars because uh, he spawns flies. So once he starts spawning flies, my uh, ch my shots will proc more. Um, let's try and get closer so that our bird and meat boy will actually attack this fucking asshole. Um, oh my god, this is bad. Um, I'm doing damage, but not as much as I want because I'm getting hit by these fucking purple things. I hate these homing tears, man. Pretty much homing in any game from an enemy standpoint is like the worst like in this game homing tears aren't even that useful because you want to be able to aim your shit um but uh it looks like i'm probably gonna win here um despite my incessant whining about the fact that i can't seem to catch a break with these uh homing tears here um and let's just keep uh hitting him our dead bird and meat boy are doing exactly what i want them to do which is just fucking stand there and deal damage to this jerk um uh, keep going. Oh, almost there. Oh, definitely victory is inevitable here. Wow, that was tough, but uh, it was good. So thanks for watching, guys. And I finally had a successful run with Samson. Um, so, you know, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you next time with more, uh, more YouTube videos.